Hey, this is Maddie Montgomery from the band For Today, and you're watching Metal Cross TV. Hey, this is Chris with Metal Cross, and we're here with Maddie from the band For Today. Maddie, how's it going? Oh, good, man. How are you? I'm doing well. Thank you very much. I appreciate your time today. Um, hey, you know, I, I've always wondered, uh, how did you come up with the name For Today? I'm... Well, to, to be honest, they had that name before I joined the band. Uh, and they actually had that name before any of the guys were Christians, uh, too. So uh, it didn't really mean anything. They just thought it sounded cool. Okay. And decided that that huh. would be the name of their band, and then you know I, I joined the band, and some of the other guys came in, and uh, and, and we all became Christians. Uh, so yeah, it doesn't really doesn't really mean anything. Can you tell me what the band's symbol means? Yeah, the six-winged creature. Um, the Bible talks about them a couple times. They're called seraphim, yeah. uh, in Isaiah six and Revelation four says that these creatures have six wings. With two wings they cover their face, with two wings they cover their feet, and with two they fly. Uh, and they fly around the throne of God um, day and night, and they cry, Holy, Holy, Holy is the Lord God Almighty. Uh, and so that's that's what that symbol means and, and kind of where it, it came from. Do you feel um, uh, that, you know, the, the devil and demons um, are are literal spirits? That they're, they're trying to deceive us and draw us away from God? Um, yeah, I know that, that demons are, are literal spirits that are trying to deceive us and, and draw us away from God. Um, now, I feel like it is, is important to be said, um, and, and I like the way that you explained it. Uh, I think that we, we want to give so much credit to the devil um, that, uh, that, that we refuse to take any responsibility for ourselves. Um, at the end of the day, man, all of hell has no power other than the power to deceive. And and so if we refuse to believe their lies, they can draw us, they cannot draw us into any sin, they can't draw us into any uh, destruction, they, they, they have no right to touch our lives if we've been bought with the blood of Jesus. And so um, there's a, uh, I think that there there's something to be said uh, about the, you know, obviously the, the deceptive efforts of hell, they're, they're no joke and it's important that we know what God says about us and that we choose to stand on those truths. Uh, but man, if, as, as we believe the word of the Lord, uh, what happens is hell loses its grip on our life, man. And, uh, and so, um, yeah, I, I don't really tend to make a big deal about the devil, or I don't tend to make a big deal about demons, because uh, I, I think that um, if I make a big deal about Jesus, then demons become a very small deal. I'm a kid who grew up without a father, and I took my anger, my, my rage out on everybody around me because I couldn't face the fact that I hated myself. I'm a kid who knows what it feels like to be stuck in a cycle of addiction and not be able to break it. I know what it feels like to be stuck in depression and self-hatred and to feel like there's no way out. I stand here today, man, as living proof of this one fact. There is power in the blood of Jesus to set That, that you want so badly to dismiss this thing as superstition and you want so badly to, to think that those those hateful, hypocritical, closed-minded Christians, they're all wrong. And I want to tell you, man, there's a lot of Christians that are hateful and closed-minded and hypocritical. But I'm not telling you to follow Christians. I'm, I'm telling you to follow Jesus. And I'm going to tell you that that guilt that you feel in your heart, that shame that you feel in your heart, that, that dirt that you feel on your life and you've been looking for anything to, to, to cover it up or to get rid of it and you couldn't find deliverance or help or hope anywhere. I want to tell you the only place that you're going to find freedom from your guilt and freedom from your sin is in the blood-stained cross of the one they call Jesus Christ. If you had a, 
uh, a message, the band had a message to reach out to uh, the fans and everyone out there, what would the message be? For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son, so that whosoever would believe in him would not perish but would have everlasting life. <laughs> you know, there can't be a better message than that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right on, right on. Well, hey, Maddie, thank you so much. I really appreciate your time and taking the time here to talk with us here at Metal Cross. Um, looking forward to the concert tonight. Thanks. Thank you very much. Yes, sir. Appreciate Thanks. it. You bet. Yeah. <laughs>